How you doing? This is Sean from Restabilization Creations, and this is day seven of the Zeovet system. So I wanted to give you guys an update. What is going on now is I've added some more fish. I've added some more coral. Um, I probably wasn't supposed to add any coral yet. I think I was supposed to wait to the 14th day, but I decided that the system was stable because I found diatopes. I also added some more rock um, to the rock to the rock scape. Also. The Zeovet reactor is definitely up and running. Let me give you, I got my light fixed by the way. I ordered uh, ballast for it. Uh, the power supply that popped. Currently, everything's running good. Got some wet skim mate in the back, which is what Zeovet suggests. So the vertex is dialed in correctly. There's a little clumping, but it seems like everything's going the way it should. I've been doing the proper dosage with the Zeovit. I haven't done much testing because the system has just started and there's not very many corals in here. So I think the parameters should be pretty good, but I do need to start testing and I do need to get the iodine test kit. What I will say is that I have a new group of guys in here and I wanted to give you this update on day seven because of these guys. I don't know if you're going to be able to them very well but I have a school of yellow tanks um, it might be a little much for this small tank but um, I thought the school was really cool looking and it would add this tank um, to have some pretty colors I really enjoy when you have a school of fish rather than having one of each fish I think it kind of makes it look neater so I have the one flameback angel and I have five juvenile yellow tangs in here. I added three different Montipora, branching Montiporas, uh, a special uh, encrusting Montipora that's red that I've had, a purple rim Montipora, and two SPS corals. One that wasn't doing so well downstairs, so I figured I'd just get them up here and see what happens and a little piece of green slimer. I'm not really supposed to be adding these two top corals, the green slimer and the other one, yet. But I decided what the heck they weren't. The, I have tons of the green slimer and this coral wasn't doing very well. So I figured I'd get it up here. I did notice the yellow tangs had a bit of ick spots on them. So I'm gonna have to break off from the zeovit a hair just to clean the gravel a bit more than I would like. You're supposed to only do weekly water changes of 10%, but I'm going to have to do that every day. Five, at least a five gallon water change, vacuum the gravel, so this way I can get any bit of the granules that fall off from the ick parasite out of the tank as much as possible. I don't have a UV on here, and I don't want to buy one. Um, I'm trying to steer away from that. Definitely with Zeovit, you're really not supposed to use one. Anyways, you can when you shut the re when you when you use the Zeovit and you use a UV, you're supposed to shut the UV off when you add the bacteria to the reactor. But I don't plan to do that. So, with any luck, I'll keep vacuuming the gravel on a daily basis. Doing extra water change won't hurt anything. It'll just slow down the Zeovit. So I won't add that many corals in here. I think the corals will be fine even doing the water changes. A lot of people just do water changes for their SPS. So I think it won't hurt anything. It'll just slow down the Zeovit process. But I did want to give you guys an update. I don't know how many updates I'll do in the future uh, for a while just because of this water change setup that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to monitor the tanks for a while, make sure they don't have any ick virus, uh, ick parasites. Um, I should have quarantined them before I put them in the tank, but they looked all good. And then once I got them in there, I noticed that one of the tanks had a little couple specks on him. So in preventative care I'll just keep vacuuming every day I did twice today so I did 10 gallons tomorrow I'll do five gallons again and we'll just see how it goes okay so again this is reef stabilization creations and I'm Sean and I hope you enjoy the videos thank you